Miss Myers. I'm so glad to see you again. Good evening, Lino. Great to see you, too. Oh, you are going to Porto Gesso. Yes, I wanted to spend some time there before the Aldo Molinelli court case in Milan. Lino? Who is that woman? She looks very serene. Her name is Irene Hoffman. She comes to Porto Ceso once a year to visit her deceased son's grave. How sad. What happened to her son? I don't know. She doesn't talk to anybody on this grave. She must be heartbroken. Well, the train is about to depart. See you inside. Miss Myers, we are almost in Porto Ceso. Thank you, Lino. I better hurry up. I need to pack my bags before the train stops. Great! I found a typewriter. Great! I found a handbag. A suitcase. Just in time. Buongiorno, Anna. I'm so glad you've decided to spend a few days in Porto Ceso. It's great to see you too, Luigi. How was your trip? No uh, disasters on the way, I hope. No, no. It was a pleasant journey. That's good to hear. I talked to Rinaldo and he agreed to let you stay in the same apartment you used last time. We can go there right away. That's great. Thank you. Let me take your bags. Don't worry. Give all of them to me. <laughs> Traveling light this time, eh? Oh, I'm sorry, Luigi. My new typewriter is quite heavy. No, no. Don't worry. Good morning. Luigi, do you know that woman? Of course, she lived in Porto Ceso for many years, but left a while ago. Why doesn't she live here anymore? Anna, could we go and drop your luggage first? I promise I will answer all your questions then. Oh, uh, sorry, Luigi, of course. Mio Dio, Sonia, please be more careful. Are you the famous Miss Myers? Yes, my dear, that's me. You should apologize to this man and then tell me why you're in such a hurry. Signor Luigi, I'm sorry. But Primo is missing. 
<laughs> he ran away, and I can't find him anywhere. Who is Primo? He's my little puppy. We went for a walk to the cliffs, then I looked away for just one second, and he ran off. My dear, I'm sure you will find your dog. If we see him, we will bring him to you. What a sweet little girl. Yes, let's get your luggage to the apartment before something else happens. The apartment is open, Anna. Here we are. Thanks, Luigi. At last, some well-deserved peace and quiet. So, what should we do for the rest of the day? We could start with a coffee in the station cafe. It's open again. That sounds lovely. Thank you for a wonderful day. It was my pleasure. I'll see you tomorrow, Anna. Sleep well. Good night, Luigi. That was a wonderful day, but it's time to get some rest. What's that sound? Is someone crying outside? Oh, Sonia, what happened? My primo. I can't find him anywhere. Oh, no. Good morning, Anna. <laughs> What's going on? Is Primo still missing? Yes. Sonia, can you describe Primo? What does he look like? He's a white and brown Jack Russell Terrier. Right. We will help you find your dog, sweetie, okay? Really? Will you? Yes, I promise. Oh, thank you, Miss Myers. I knew I could count on you. But the dog could be anywhere. I think that a policeman and an investigative journalist should be able to find a little dog in a small town. Primo went missing when they were taking a walk on the cliff, right? We should start there. I can't see Primo anywhere. Let's look around. Maybe we'll find some clues to where he might be.
found an army knife. Luigi, are there any veterans from the Great War in town? Why are you asking? I found an old army knife. May I see? Hmm. There's only one person I know who might own this knife. Flavio. But why would the knife be here? Maybe this Flavio was here recently. He might have seen Primo. Let's talk to him, and we could ask him about Sonia's dog. Where does he live? Everywhere, and nowhere. Flavio was a war hero, but when the war ended, he didn't adjust to post-war life. He spends most of the time drinking at the abandoned house. Let's go and see if we can find him. to tell me about Mrs. Hoffman. Yes, right. Irene was a local in Porto Ceso. She was married to Ronaldo, and they were a happy couple. But then tragedy struck. Lino told me she lost her son. Yes. Eleven years ago, their son Roberto fell from the cliff. Oh, that's terrible. It was a huge blow to both Irene and Ronaldo. After the incident, they stayed together for about a year. But one day, Irene just left the town. Since then, she only comes back to visit Roberto's grave. What a tragic story. Yes, so sad. Well, we have work to do. Let's go and find Flavio. Anna, look! Primo is here! It looks like he found something in that grave. Primo, come here! Good dog! Primo, come back! Dear Lord! What is it, Anna? Mio Dio! It's Flavio! He's dead! Look at that wound. Was he hit by an axe or something? I would say by something bigger and not so sharp. We need to examine the area.
I found a black rose. Luigi, take a look at this. A black rose? Yes, I found it lying on his chest. So gruesome, but it means it has been placed there after the murder. Exactly. Could the killer have left it as some kind of a symbol? Look, traces of blood. It must be Flavio's blood. Hmm. The traces lead to the abandoned house. The body must have been dragged from there. Let's check the abandoned house. Mio Dio! Another victim! No, wait! He's alive! Just dead drunk! Who is he? His name is Adriano. He is a fisherman. Adriano, wake up! Wake up! Open your eyes! I'll take a look around. found a shovel. Look, there are traces of blood on this shovel. Let me see. It looks like this shovel was used to kill Flavio. Are you thinking it was this fisherman who did it? Well, everything points to him. And after the murder, he came back here to sleep and left the blood-stained shovel near him, just like that? I agree that it sounds a bit weird, but he was drunk, so anything is possible. Luigi. Please stay here and keep watch on Adriano. I'll go and get Signor Cozzi. I need to wake him up. Maybe I can find something in the shed.
found some ammonia. Ammonia? Just what I need. The smell could wake the dead. Primo! Hello, little doggy. Who's a good boy? Come here. It's Primo. Catch him. What are you doing? Don't you think you're being a little childish for a policeman? I'm sorry, Senor Cozzi, but we promised Sonia we would find her dog. Luigi, pick yourself up. We're dealing with a murder here. Si, signore. Let's arrest the suspect. Did you wake him up? Well, I was about to try. Flavio is dead. What? What? Did you see or hear anything suspicious? No. He was alive and uh, well just a few hours ago. We were drinking together and... Uh... And? Well, um, then I fell asleep. I don't remember anything. Don't fool around, Adriano. Wait. You don't think that I... Stand up. We are arresting you for the murder of Flavio Riva. But I didn't kill him. Flavio was my friend. Luigi, accompany Adriano to the prison. Then come back here and seal off the cemetery. Si, signore. Miss Myers, will you help me to investigate the crime scene? Officer Cozzi, you're in a good mood today. Uh, don't make me change my mind.
ID tag. It seems they drank three bottles of wine. That's not enough to make Adriano so drunk and so sleepy. Maybe someone mixed something with his wine. Maybe, or maybe Adriano is just an excellent actor. Have you found anything? I found a military ID. It's from the Great War. May I see it? Yes, this is indeed an Italian ID tag from the Great War. Belonging to Lieutenant Roberto Fiore. What is it doing here? Didn't Roberto die a long time ago? Do you know who Roberto was? Yes, Luigi told me about him. Flavio must have had his tag and dropped it here while drunk. You see, Roberto and Flavio were best friends. They were classmates, then they fought together in the war. They were both heroes. When Roberto died, it was a shock to all of us. Was his death the reason why Flavio started to drink? Oh, no, no. Flavio was already a heavy drinker when he returned from the war. It had changed him a lot. Then the death of his best friend put him over the edge. How did Roberto die? In a tragic accident. One dark and foggy night, he fell from the cliffs. We conducted an investigation at the time, but found nothing unusual. I see. I'd like to examine this shovel for fingerprints. Finger what? Fingerprints. You must know about this investigative technique. I... I'll show you. Just give me a few minutes. I need to get my fingerprint kit from my apartment. Right. If I remember correctly, the kit should be in my suitcase. Great! I found a fingerprint kit. Miss Myers, tell me about those fingerprints. Recent studies have shown that human fingerprints are unique and difficult to alter. They can be used to identify individuals who wish to conceal their identity. And a fingerprint kit is used to collect fingerprints from crime scenes. My friends in the Zurich police lent me one. I'll show you how it works. Just let me put it down near the shovel. 
All right, let's take a closer look at the shovel. First, we apply the powder to the brush. Then we brush it against the surface. Lastly, we collect fingerprints using some tape. So, do you know who the killer is? Not yet, Officer Kotze. We need to analyze them first. Luigi, you are just in time. We have just collected all the fingerprints from the shovel. Fingerprints? Yes. Officer Kotze will explain it to you. Take an ink pad from the kit and get fingerprints from Adriano and Flavio. Okay. I will do my best. I suggest that we get fingerprints from Irene and Rinaldo as well. Irene and Ronaldo? Yes, we need to be meticulous. Officer Kotze, do you still have files on Roberto's investigation? Yes, they should be somewhere in the police station. Why? I want to find out more about that tragedy. May I read the files? I don't know how that's going to help, but do as you please, Miss Myers. Rinaldo, how are you? I'm good, Miss Myers. Thank you. I just heard the news. Poor Flavio. You know about his death? Yes, Luigi told me. How well did you know him? Flavio was a good Giovanni, but the war and the drinking destroyed his life. Do you think Adriano could have killed him? With too much alcohol, anything is possible. I know this might be upsetting, but... Could you tell me more about the terrible accident your son had? It was 11 years ago. It was a dark and foggy night. When Roberto hadn't returned home in the evening, we started to worry and went to the police. They found his body the next day. Do you think someone might have killed Roberto? No. I believe it was just an accident. There was an extensive investigation by the police, and they found nothing. What about your ex-wife? What did she think about it? Rene was heartbroken and angry. She believes that Flavio killed him. She tried to find evidence, but nothing came of it. <laughs> Why would Irene think that Flavio killed Roberto? Weren't they best friends? I truly don't know. I have managed to deal with his death, but Irene... She was inconsolable. Not long after the tragedy, she left me. And left the town without any warning. Now she only comes back to put a red rose on Roberto's grave. And she gives a black rose to Flavio. A black rose? Yes. It's her way to remind Flavio about his supposed crime. Do you sell black roses? No. I only keep a few of them for Irene. Nobody else wants them. They are not very popular. I see. Thank you, Rinaldo. Anytime, Miss Myers. It seems like Rinaldo still has feelings for Irene. He might be protecting her. But he doesn't seem to know about the black rose on Flavio's chest. It's time to find that case file on Roberto's death.
found a case file. Hmm. A page has been torn out. I wonder why. Anyway, since I'm here, I should talk to Adriano and ask him a few questions. Adriano? Oh no, he's escaped. I need to alert Luigi and Officer Cozzi as quickly as possible. station quickly this is madness the metal bars and escaped through the window but how did he do it where did he get the tools he might have got help from someone on the outside let's look around let's look around Anna This is probably what Adriano used to cut the bars. Can you show me? A hacksaw. We don't keep any tools in the prison cells, especially something like this. Someone must have passed it in to Adriano. Yes, together with this message. What message? There are torn pieces of paper with words written on them, but I can't put together the whole message. Really? Let me help you.
It could be your last chance to escape. Try not to waste it. Why would someone help Adriana to escape? I smell something fishy here. Well, there's no time to waste. I must find Adriano. Hold on, Luigi. Regarding Roberto's case file, one page is missing. It's not important right now, Anna. I have to go. Louis... Oh, maybe Officer Cozzi knows something about this. He's probably still investigating the crime scene in the cemetery. Miss Myers, is something wrong? Adriano has escaped. What? How? Somebody helped him. They gave him a hacksaw and left a message. Mamma mia! We must find him. Where is Luigi? He is already searching for Adriano. There is something else I want to tell you. I was checking Roberto's case file, and it seems that one page has been torn out. Who would dare to break into the police station and tamper with the documents? I don't know, but the missing information must have been very important. Could you try to remember what was on the missing page? Let me see the file. Hmm... Well, it looks like the witness statements are missing. After the incident, we questioned Roberto's parents and friends and put their answers in the file. But nobody said anything that suggested it wasn't an accident. Did all of them have an alibi? Actually, no. Flavio didn't have one. Really? Can we talk about this later? I have to find Luigi and search for Adriano. I must talk to Irene. Maybe Rinaldo will know where she might be. Primo, calm down! Good dog! That's a good dog! Rinaldo, can you catch him for me, please? Sure. Here, doggy. Oh, sorry, Miss Myers. He was too fast. What's going on with him today, eh? He's usually quite calm. Do you know this dog? Of course. He belongs to Sonia Riki. If you see him again, please let me know. I promised Sonia that I would find him. By the way, have you seen Irene recently? I'd like to speak to her. I don't know exactly, but she headed to the station. Great. Thank you again, Rinaldo. Good afternoon. You must be the new cafe owner. That's right, miss. My name is Marco Vicini. And you must be the famous Anna Myers. I've only been here for a few weeks, but I've heard so much about you. All good, I hope. Undoubtedly. Especially from the young policeman, huh? What was his name? 
Luigi Affini. Right. Luigi. Oh, he speaks very highly of you, Miss Myers. Oh, my. Did you happen to see Mrs. Irene Hoffman recently? I'm sorry. I, I don't think I recall a such a name. She is a noble-looking woman. She usually wears black morning clothes. Oh, yes. She is in the cafe. Great. If you'd excuse me, I would like to talk to her. It is a pleasure to meet you, Marco. And you too, Miss Myers. Mrs. Hoffman, may I join you? Well, if you wish. Thanks. So, how long will you be staying in Porto Cheso? I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Have you heard about Flavia? Serves him right for what he did. What do you mean? He killed my son. My brave, lovely, only son. You seem so certain about it. Oh, I know it was him. He envied Roberto because he was better at everything than him. More popular. Better looking. But they were best friends, weren't they? They were. But envy is dangerous. And evil. Do you know other... <laughs> Scusi me, I have to go. She seems to hate Flavio. I wonder if she could kill him out of her unproven belief. I am at your service. I still... I wonder if he's hiding in the service room. It draws escapees like a magnet. Primo, come here, boy. Damn, he escaped again. The door is open. Somebody might be inside. Whoever was here is not here anymore. I wonder if they left something behind.
found a pipe. This pipe is still smouldering. I wonder who was here. The lock is broken. Somebody broke in. Herman, are you okay? Uh, my head. Hold on, I'll find something to stop the bleeding. bandage. There you go. Who did this to you? I don't know. I heard a sound like someone was breaking into the cellar. As soon as I entered, I was hit and passed out. I don't understand what is going on with this town. With these people. I can't leave this cellar open like that. Could you bring me another padlock from the cemetery shed? Yes, of course. What are they arguing about? Seems that he wants her back. Oh, that was cruel. Rinaldo, are you okay? I'm fine. I wonder why Irene was so angry. It must have been something she read on that note. I want to check what it says.
a love letter. I will do anything for you. You are the love of my life. Signed, R. It seems so sweet, but Irene was so angry. Well, never mind. I must find the padlock and get back to Herman. a bandage. There you go. Who did this to you? I don't know. I heard a sound like someone was breaking into the cellar. As soon as I entered, I was hit and passed out. I don't understand what is going on with this town. With these people. I can't leave this cellar open like that. Could you bring me another padlock from the cemetery shed? Yes, of course.
What are they arguing about? Seems that he wants her back. Oh, that was cruel. Rinaldo, are you okay? I'm fine. I wonder why Irene was so angry. It must have been something she read on that note. I want to check what it says. letter. I will do anything for you. You are the love of my life. Signed R. It seems so sweet, but Irene was so angry. Well, never mind. I must find the padlock and get back to Herman.
found a hammer. I think this hammer might help. Roberto's diary, but it has a strange lock. We should use the hammer on it. No, that isn't going to work. We need to keep the diary intact. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Damn, what is this? What? This is gibberish. I don't understand a word. Then our efforts were useless? Maybe not. Let's try to decode it.
Now I can read it. Let me see. The last note is dated June 19th, 1918. That was the day of the accident. Where the hell is Flavio, and why didn't he come to work today? I hope Signor Cozzi will let me leave work early today. Roberto! Stop sleeping, for God's sake! Didn't I tell you to go and find Nerio Tardoro's case file? Si, signore. Give me a minute. Found the case file. Here it is. Finally. Roberto, you might be my first assistant who has some signs of an intellect. Tiny signs, of course, but signs nevertheless. Give me the case files. Give me the case file. Signor Corsi, can I leave early today? What? Are you kidding me? You have work to do. Si, signore. Go to the cell and clean it up. It's a total mess in there after that scum we released earlier today. And take a plunger. You will need it. Take a plunger and clean up the cell. Great. I found a plunger. Is this what I've been dreaming about all my life? I shouldn't have got a job in the police. Everything is clean now. May I leave? Sure. Before you go, get the police tape from the abandoned house. Oh, and I forgot my cigarette case somewhere there. Please find it too. Si, signore. Excuse me? <coughs> si, signore. That's much better.
see what we have here. I found a cigarette case. The police tape should be here somewhere. Great. I found the police tape. At last. I can go back now. Ah, Roberto. I hope you haven't come back empty-handed. Uh, no. I found everything. Good. Put the police tape into the cupboard. Now hand me my cigarette case. Kotzi speaking. Uh-huh. Right. Yes, I'll send Roberto immediately. Adio. Listen, your friend Flavio is in a brawl at the cafe. He's drunk again. Go help Herman out and then deal with Flavio. Si, signore. Buonasera, uh, signor Herman. Hello, Roberto. Ah, uh, I'm sorry about Flavio. I, I don't know what's been going on with him lately. Ah, uh, don't worry. Young blood, you know? Uh, at least let me help you clean up this mess. Could you help me put everything in order? Could you help me put everything in order? Thank you, Roberto. Y you're welcome. Did you see where Flavio went? No, but he looked very depressed. Uh, I think I know where he might be.
Flavio, there you are. Do me a favor and uh, get lost. Ah, Cristo. Let's go. I'll get you home. Flavio, do you hear me? Oh, Roberto, mi amico. It's so good to see you. What are you doing here? You are drunk. Let me help you. Drunk? No, no, I'm not drunk yet. Come, Roberto, sit. Have a drink with me. I think you've had enough. Let's go. What a pain. You sound like uh, my father. All right, all right. Where is my lighter? I need my lighter, Roberto. Damn. I'd better help him find his lighter. Otherwise, we will be stuck here forever. I found the lighter. Here, I found it. Ah, oh, you saved my life. Can we go now? Yeah, yes, sure. Hey, what's wrong with you? I don't even know who you are anymore, Flavio. What's wrong with me, you ask? Your very existence destroyed my life. Destroyed your life? How? You're a war hero. You've been awarded the Medal of Valor. You have higher military rank. You are better looking, after all. You sound like a total idiot. I... I can't believe you would say that, after everything we experienced together in the war. Flavio, you are my best friend, my brother. I know. Flavio, come on, let's go. Just leave me alone! <gasps> no! Oh, Roberto! <sighs> oh, mio Dio, mio Dio! 
mio Dio! This explains a lot. We have to show this diary to Signor Cozzi. Not a good idea, believe me. Officer Cozzi is going to jump to conclusions about Irene. He will think that she read the journal and killed Flavio. What? No, she didn't. Signora Hoffman wouldn't harm a fly. Do you think Adriano killed him? N no. Then who did it, Herman? I don't know. But believe me, both of them are good, decent people. I believe you. But even good people can make a mistake. Please don't tell Officer Cozzi about the diary. I will show it to him when the time is right. It's been a long day. I need to get back to my apartment. Good night, Herman. Good night, Miss Myers. Luigi, how's it going? Have you found Adriano? No luck so far. We've looked everywhere, but no sign of him. Have you found any new information? Somebody broke into the station cellar today. I suspect it was him. What? Why do you think so? He must have needed food and other items to make his escape. And I found a freshly used pipe in the service room right before that incident. Can you show me? Yes, this pipe definitely belongs to Adriano. Good. We can take his fingerprints from this pipe. And tomorrow, we can compare them with those on the shovel. Good idea. I'll see you tomorrow then, Anna. Good night. Then they were looking for something else. I need to look around. Ouch! Oh, my head is spinning. Who, who was that? If she or he didn't kill me, then they were looking for something else. I need to look around. Seems like my chloroform is missing. I have to speak to Luigi and Officer Cozzi. Good morning, Miss Myers. Anna, is everything all right? You, you look tired. Someone assaulted me last night. What? When I returned home, someone was hiding in my apartment. As soon as I entered, I was attacked from behind. Mio Dio! Did you see who it was? No. It was probably Adriano again. Damn! I should have called him a long time ago. He could have hurt you. He could. But he didn't. Whoever it was, they didn't come there for me. But what were they looking for in your apartment? I don't know. They only took the chloroform from my medicine chest. We need to find out what's really going on. Luigi, did you collect all the fingerprints yesterday? Yes. Let me put the kit on the table. 
Good. Let's compare these fingerprints with the ones we found on the shovel. It seems that only Flavio and Adriano's fingerprints were on the shovel. You see, Adriano did this, and now we have the proof. We only have proof that Adriano touched the shovel. But we do not have any proof that he actually killed Flavio. There might be an innocent explanation why his fingerprints are on it. Actually, yes. Do you remember Tonino, the cemetery caretaker? After his death, Adriano sometimes dug the graves for local funerals. I don't understand. Why are you defending Adriano? He escaped from the cell, attacked Herman, and even assaulted you. What else does he have to do for you to realize that he killed Flavio? I will not allow another murder to happen in my town. There won't be another murder. Flavia was the only person the killer wanted dead. What makes you think so? Yesterday, I found Roberto's diary. The last entry says that Roberto was accidentally pushed off the cliff by Flavio. What? How could Roberto write about it? He was dead. The handwriting was different. It wasn't written by Roberto. My guess is that it was written by Flavio out of guilt. Mamma mia! Then Irene was right all along. But this means that she had a clear motive to kill Flavio. I doubt that Irene was strong enough to deliver the killing blow. And we haven't even found their fingerprints on the shovel. Yes? Right. We'll be right there. Don't do anything without us. We need to hurry to the train station. Herman has just seen somebody near the tunnel. It might be Adriano. Good news. Let's go. Which way did he go? I saw him enter the tunnel. All right, let's get him. I'd better stay here. It might be dangerous. Mio Dio! Luigi, check Irene. Quickly. We're just in time. She's still alive. Miss Myers, stop. He is dangerous. I don't think he is in any condition to do any harm. Am I missing chloroform? Looks like he was the one who assaulted you. But why would he kidnap Irene? 
good question. Maybe she saw him kill Flavio, so Adriano decided to kill her. That sounds too complex. We need to find more clues. Let's search Adriano. Great! I found a message. Come to the service room at 11 p.m. I will help you to escape. Burn this message after reading. What is it, Miss Myers? Another message. Typewritten and anonymous. Again. May I see? Adriano could have typed this message. Adriano was drunk. Do you really think he could plan and execute something like this? He would have needed to find a typewriter and produce these messages in advance, just to confuse us. Damn rope! Luigi, can I help you? I need a knife to cut the rope. Just a minute. Here it is. Oh. Oh, what is going on? Calm down, Signora Hoffman. Everything is all right. You're safe now. Where am I? Oh. What is the last thing you remember? Oh, let, let me think. I, I left the cafe yesterday evening and then... Someone called my name on the platform. Who was it? I, I don't know. I, I just heard the voice and I, I didn't see the face. I tried to turn around and then... And? I don't know what happened. I lost consciousness. Did you recognize the voice? Uh, no. No, I can't remember. But it seemed familiar. Adriano, wake up. What, what, what is going on? You are under arrest for murder, jailbreak, and kidnapping. No, wait. You are making a huge mistake. 
Let me help you, Signora Hoffman. There has to be a third party involved in all of this. It is still unclear who helped Adriano to escape. I'll search the area again. I found a glove. Hmm. This glove looks familiar. I'm sure I've seen somebody wearing it. But just one. And it wasn't here yesterday. This might lead us to something. I need to get back to the police station. Hello, Rinaldo. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Miss Myers. You scared me. I was looking for some flower pots. Herman said I could find some in the cellar. It is locked up, isn't it? Oh, yes, you're right. I forgot the key. You look tired. Are you all right? I'm fine. Just working long days. I saw Irene and Adriano with the police. Did something happen? It is still unclear, but I can assure you that Irene is fine. Thank goodness. All right, I must go. See you later.
Officer Kotze, I want to compare the two messages that we found. But why? I need to clarify one detail. Do as you wish. The messages are on the table. Officer Kotze, I want to compare the two messages that we found. But why? I need to clarify one detail. Do as you wish. The messages are on the table. Here's the first defect. Another defect. Aha! One more 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 defect. Just as I thought. Both messages were typed using the same typewriter. How do you know? You see, each typewriter has as much individuality as a person's handwriting. There are thousands of typewriters, but no two are exactly alike. If you carefully examine these two messages, you will see that there are identical defects on both of them. Even so, what does this change? Adriano could have been framed. Not again, Miss Myers. We need to find the typewriter that was used to type these messages. It will lead us to the murderer. But we can't check all the typewriters in town. It will take weeks. We don't have to. I think the messages were typed on my typewriter. What? At first, I thought that somebody came to my apartment to steal the chloroform. But they would not know I had it unless they had been there before. So they needed something else, and that was my typewriter. Let's hurry and check it. See? My typewriter has the same defects. I don't understand. How is this going to help us find the killer? Shouldn't we now arrest you because the messages were typed on your typewriter? You could easily use your creative mind to fabricate this story. And why then would I help you to solve this puzzle? 
So what do you propose? Luigi, take fingerprints from my typewriter. Okay, I'll get the kid from the police station. Officer Cotzi, let's go and find Herman. Herman? You don't think that he... Of course not. I just need to ask him something. Herman, I have an important question. Yes? Did you tell Rinaldo that he could take flower pots from the cellar? What are you talking about? I don't have any pots in the cellar. Uh, Miss Myers, what is going on? Rinaldo is involved in all this. What? I bumped into Rinaldo right after we left the service room. He was acting rather strange. He lied about the pots and is now probably looking for his glove. The one I found in the service room. Can you show me the glove? It's hard to believe this, but it is his glove. Let's hurry to the service room. Ronaldo, what are you doing here? I, I was looking for a flower pot. I didn't find one in the cellar, so I came here. Stop lying. We've just talked to Herman, and he doesn't know anything about flower pots. I, but, uh, Signore, please. I think we should all go to the police station and clear this up. I don't understand. What is going on? Enough. Just move. Irene, are you all right? Yes. But why are you here? Rinaldo Fiore is a suspect in the murder of Flavio Riva. What? He would never hurt us all. It is very simple, Mrs. Hoffman. You see, Rinaldo still loves you. And he badly wanted to win you back. You always suspected Flavio was responsible for your son's death. So Rinaldo thought that if he could deliver justice, then he could get you back. He needed a scapegoat, and there was no better candidate than Adriano. Adriano always drank with Flavio, so he made it look like Adriano killed Flavio in a drunken argument. Once Adriano was taken into custody, Rinaldo wanted to incriminate him further, so he organized Adriano's escape. Rinaldo then captured both Adriano and Mrs. Hoffman, but made it look like Adriano had kidnapped her. But we found his messages at both crime scenes, and these messages helped us to find out the truth. I'm sorry, Anna, but there's a problem. There are no other fingerprints on your typewriter, except yours. Just as I expected. Really? Ronaldo usually wears gloves because of his work with flowers. That's why we didn't find his fingerprints on the shovel. And that's why they are not on the typewriter. But how did you find out that he wrote those messages? Well, I witnessed a quarrel between Irene and Ronaldo. Ronaldo gave flowers to her, but she threw them away after reading something. I was curious what made her so angry, so I checked the note. The note was a love letter from Ronaldo. Uh, 
May I see the note? Okay, let me see. Do you notice anything unusual? Hmm. Ah, it is typewritten. Exactly. And if you analyze it, you will find that there are the same defects as in messages addressed to Adriana. Why would they use a typewriter? I have terrible handwriting. What? I said I have terrible handwriting. I admit it. You were too clever for me, Miss Myers. I don't understand. Why now? You suffered for a decade like this. But why decide to kill him now? I think Roberto's diary was the trigger. What? What diary? Your son's diary. But the last entry was made by Flavio. In that entry, he confessed that he accidentally pushed Roberto off the cliff. I knew it. I always knew it. Give me the diary. It belongs to me. Oh. My poor Roberto. Miss Myers, you are very clever. But I don't regret it. All this time, Irene was right. Our poor son died at the hands of his best friend. You all thought that it was just Irene who was angry about Roberto's death. But he was my son, too. Irene is such a fragile person. She needs help, everybody used to say. But I missed him, too. Calm down, Rinaldo. I have feelings! I still love Irene! And I still can't sleep at night when I think about our son, Roberto. I did this for her, but I also did it for me. Giuseppe, put me in a cell. I don't have a place in a peaceful life anymore. Come this way, Rinaldo. Anna, thank you for helping us. Again. I am glad I could help. So I'm free to go. Yes, Adriano, you are free now. Miss Myers, Miss Myers, have you found my dog? Oh, my dear. Not yet, but I think I know where he might be. Let's go to the harbor. I have a feeling that Primo is there. <laughs> Primo! How did you know that Primo was going to be here? Oh, it was easy. Over the last couple of days, I spotted Primo in different places throughout the town. At first, I thought it was random. Then I noticed some patterns in his behavior. Primo appeared in all the places where there were traces of Adriano. Adriana was carrying cheese, and the dog was following his smell. Thank you, Miss Myers. When I grow up, I want to be a detective, just like you. Anna, I hope you will come back to see us again. I will. 
Sonia, be good and study hard. And take good care of Primo. Thank you, Miss Myers. Have a safe trip home. of the real Italy. It's Vesta time again. Bring your children, your partner, your neighbors, and even your dog. I are tempting food, dance, and traditional dress. This August weekend in Porto Cesare. It doesn't get any better than this. Hope to see you here.